boys and girls, today we're going to go to a town by the seaside, or the coastline rather, and it's where ships come in and out, and it's called Larn. And we're going to learn something about Larn and have a few pictures to see what Larn looks like. But before that, we're going to sing a song, Don't Forget to Remember. Don't forget to remember. Did you know creation? remember because God won't forget you. Let's see what's happening. Here we go. Today boys and girls we are in a town in Northern Ireland and there's a big boat that comes into the town. Have you any idea where that would be? The boat's not going to sail up to your school? No. It's in Larne because Larne is built on the coast and whenever you're going to get a boat you either take it from the Belfast dock or you come up to Larne Larne, if you get if you're going to go to Scotland on holidays or Scotland to in your car or on foot, you'll come to Larne, and that's where you get the boat either to Can Ryan or to Stranraer. That'll take you to Scotland. Go to Scotland, then you go to England or to Wales, or go, if you're going to go over to Europe, this is the route that you will come. So it's quite busy. Sometimes, other time it's quiet. We just missed a big boat going out, but quite often you'll see ships coming in and ships going out, and also for cargo. If you go right back to 1717, 1717, that's when it, when a lot of Scottish and Irish people would have emigrated to America, to Boston, for example. So a lot of history with the Normanites, and there's even history of Viking ships coming here and uh, down throughout the years, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So the water it was a very, very important route 
Uh, whenever you think of Larne itself, it's a very uh, busy town, like many towns in Northern Ireland with different shops and there's lots of schools. And if you go one way, you come to Ballymena. If you go the other way, you come to Carrick Fergus, Belfast. Then down the middle, you come to Ballyclare, Temple Patrick. So it's, uh, there's nowhere on the other side because it's surrounded by water. Uh, one side of it, the other side, you've got uh, land and mountains. But very interesting, good place to come for a drive, good place to come for a day. And of course, lots of you'll see big lorries coming because they're going to uh, get onto the boat and transfer cargo to and from uh, Northern Ireland or, or to, onto the south of Ireland or vice versa, going across to Scotland to the mainland. Whatever I think of Larne being a harbour, I think of Bible stories. And one of the Bible stories I often think about is the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. Acts in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, is a, fan, a fascinating adventure book. I absolutely love it and because it talks about Paul and his missionary journeys. In Bible times, they never had airplanes or helicopters. If missionaries are going to travel across the world today, they'll go by airplane. And really, within 24 hours, you can be the other side of the uh, of the world, no problem. But in people going to America, sometimes it would take six weeks. If you were getting a, a boat to America, it would take weeks and weeks, or to China, or it would sometimes take up to three months just to travel on a boat because a boat or ship is so slow, but an airplane is so fast. But 555 miles an hour, an airplane flies 40,000 feet in the air, but alarm. I think of the big boats coming in and out, and smaller boats too, and I think whenever uh, Paul was travelling on his missionary journeys, the Bible talks about three main missionary journeys. He would go by boat. Sometimes he'd take his friend Mark. Other times he'd take Luke with him. Other times he'd take Barnabas. Different people would travel with him, Timothy. But his uh, objective to travel was to preach the gospel, to teach people the Word of God, to tell people about the Word of God. That generation needed to learn about God, and Paul was a brilliant preacher. He could understand people very well. He could relate to people and he was an expert whenever it came to teaching the Bible because lots of people couldn't understand the Bible or they would misinterpret the Bible and Paul would keep them straight and teach them how to set up church etc. But some, one time for example he was a prisoner and there was uh, 276 people on board this ship and the soldier said to the to the captain, is it, is it good to go? And he said, yes, it's good to go. And Paul said, I perceive that the weather's going to change. There's going to be a storm in the sea. Don't travel this way. But they never believed Paul. He was just a prisoner and he was a Christian, so they never believed him. And they set sail. And not long after setting sail, the weather did change. In fact, they ended up, uh, the ship ended up being shipwrecked, completely destroyed. And Paul said, if nobody escapes, we're all going to be honest here, if nobody escapes, but everyone swims to that island, waits on the shore to be counted, no one's going to die. And the ship was completely destroyed in the big storm. There was a real shipwreck and everyone made their way to the island. And uh, they were counted, nobody escaped. And Paul, even on that island, God had a big plan because they lit a fire. And from that fire, Paul was putting in sticks and a big snake jumped out and bit him right in the arm. And he should have died from poison, but he didn't. On all the local islanders, they couldn't understand why this man never died. And Paul began to explain that God was protecting him. God was looking after him. And as he spoke, he began to tell them about Jesus. And the Bible says over half that island became Christians, but became believers in the Lord Jesus. That's what has happened over the years in this country. It's called revival. It often comes in parts of the world, parts of the country, when many people at one time believe in God and want to follow God. So it's very, very interesting history here in the in in the Bible, we can read many Bible stories whenever we think of the water. And whenever I think of water and see a ship, quite often you're often reminded of Noah's Ark, because Noah's Ark was one of the first ships in the Bible. It was massive. It was equivalent to many, many big, big football pitches, the length of it and the height of it, and, the, and, the height of it, and all the two of every kind of living animal were placed on that boat, and there was still room for more. It was massive. But Whenever you look at a ship and you're standing in land, be thankful because there was a time whenever the world was completely destroyed by flood and by water. And everyone asks, no, no, why are you building a boat? Because we've never seen a, a flood before. We've never seen rain before because the water came through the dew. And Noah said, there's going to be a flood because everyone is so wicked and they don't care about God. They're deliberately sinning against God. Whenever God says to do something, everyone does the opposite. When God says to be kind, everyone's cruel. Whenever people, God says to love him, they don't love him. They do everything against him. So Noah said, if you want to believe in God, come into the boat and be rescued to be saved but nobody did apart from Noah's family Noah his wife 
and their three sons and their wives and nobody else. And whenever the rain started coming, God shut the door of the ark and Noah couldn't open the door. And the floods came for 40 days and 40 nights. It rained, completely destroyed the whole earth and every, everyone was destroyed. And that, that boat, Noah's ark, remind me of Jesus because Noah, when he was in the ark, he was kept safe from the flood. And just like the Lord Jesus, he not only saves us uh, from our sin, but he keeps us safe and he's ever with us as we journey through life. So even Noah's ark and so many Bible stories, we learn about ships and learn about boats. So when you come to no the, here, you can see, hear the seagulls and they're busy looking for food. When a boat comes in, they're all excited because when a boat comes in, they think they're going to get fed, they're going to get food. And you also see the big um, industry over here here for electricity you've got big power stations and of course that generates power for thousands and thousands of homes to give us power because many years ago um, lots of homes did not have electricity didn't have running water did not have a bathroom and today we take that for granted having a toilet a bathroom running water electricity and many parts of the world still don't have these luxuries like a bathroom a toilet running water electricity many parts of the world don't world do not enjoy these luxuries and I think about power we take for granted. Whenever I think about God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit is the one who gives a Christian power. But today people are so self-sufficient, they think they don't need God and they don't realize the benefits there is for being a Christian because God gives us power to live for him and to enjoy the Christian life. So even from a town here in Larne, that's why you go to school to learn. <laughs> you go to school to learn, not to learn, to learn. L-E-A-R-N, not learn, L-A-R-N-E. Have a good day. That's it from Larne today. Did you know if you're going to go to Scotland, you have to drive to Larne or Belfast uh, to get to Scotland, to get to the mainland. So that's why Larne is mainly famous for cargo coming in and also leaving in the big lorries. Let's sing the wee song, As the case was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Savior passed that way, he looked up to the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to house today. Look how happy he was and the joy the Lord gives you when you become a Christian, follow the Lord Jesus, then you're so happy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Thanks for watching today and enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. See ya.